Okay, let's go ahead and get started. It's RoboGuide time. You knew that. Uh, I want to apologize for it being just a little bit darker. Uh, we had a severe thunderstorm last night, and it affected the electricity, and so I'm dealing with uh, less lights than normal. We'll get that fixed in a day or two, and we'll be back to normal. Uh, let's get to uh, RoboGuide. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... Um, I pinned it up. I think it didn't hear me. We'll get an eye pinned it up. We'll move this out of the way and we'll get started. Uh, last time we were here, we made a program. And so you'll remember that uh, this program I called a test one. And I'm not sure what you called yours, but whatever you called it, you'll need to go ahead and get it up. If you don't remember how to do that, we go to select, uh, we cursor down to whatever program we want. In this case, I have a test one. We're going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to bring up that program. And you'll remember this program last time. We stepped through it. If you'll remember, we had a little, we went through the process of stepping through it. Uh, we went, uh, let's see, it's all there. Let's go ahead and see if it just, where it ended last time. We're gonna to need to, whoop, I need to turn step on before I do that. Step is light uh, illuminated. Great, we're ready for shift. We're forward, 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 back. Actually, that's to the middle. If you remember last time, that's not back. It's at this point right here, if you remember. Let's go ahead and go down uh, forward. Now we're down. Now we're back to the origin. So you remember that. That's the little program we created last time. Now, I want you to look particularly on this. I think it's on this one that you see it the best. We have, we have this in joint. You see how it makes this arc right here? And then it makes an arc here going back. And then this, I think, is a pretty much straight line. Let's move this and see if it is. Well, no, it's, it's pretty much arced as well. Do you see how we have a little arc coming up here and a little arc going down? The computer is calculating the fastest path, the quickest path to the points that we've assigned. And that's what it says, that's what it's done. Now, if you're welding, that's not gonna work because you're gonna have your wire on the, what, on the metal surface and it's gonna be welding and then you're gonna pull up and go to the next point. That's not gonna work. You're gonna to have to have a linear. And that's what this uh, module is about is developing a linear path. A linear path is a path where we move from point A to point B in a direct line. And the question is, how in the world do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Here we go. We're going to cursor down. We got to get out of that shift. We're going to cursor up, I guess. Okay, so now we've got, we've highlighted the first movement, the first motion command. We're going to go over. And right there, we have the J highlighted. And this choice showed up. We want to click on choice. We have joint, we have linear, circular, and circle arc. I want you to go ahead and click on linear. Now, do you see that that changed to linear and now still top position one, that's still the same thing, but now we're moving at 4,000 millimeters per second. That's fast. So we need to slow that down so that we can deal with it. And with a real machine, that would, if we were to have a, a problem of some kind, it would tear up the machine and the tool, you'd be out 30, 40, $50,000. We don't wanna work at that fast right now. Now there may come a time that we want to, but not right now. So let's enter um, center 500. Do you remember that the teach pendant do you, or the uh, uh, T1 cycle, moves it at 250 millimeters per second. 
Now that's fairly slow. And so 500 is going to be fairly slow. We could take it up to a thousand or 2000 pretty easily. You're probably not going to want to run your robot and the company you're working for definitely doesn't want you running their robot at 4,000 meters, millimeters per second. All right, so we still have fine. Okay, great. Let's go down to the next one. Let's change it as well. We're going to make it linear. And we're going to come over here. I didn't hit enter, apparently. 500. Oh, let's get back down here where we're supposed to be. We're going to come across. And we're going to put 500. And guys, you have to hit that enter. And apparently I didn't do that last time. Let's go up a line. And we'll fix that one while we're here. We're going to put 500. We're going to put enter. Let's come down to this line. So we're going to come down. We're going to go back a couple. That's joint. We want linear. We're going to change this. 500. We're going to hit enter. And there we go. Now let's go down and do the next one too, shall we, while we're here? Go back across. You're going to put uh, choice. We're going to insert linear. Uh, we're going to move across the still position four. We're going to move at 500 millimeters per second. We're going to enter. And the last one we can go, it won't make any difference if we want to do a joint or a, a linear. Let's go ahead and do a linear since we're practicing getting a linear. So we're going to choice. We're going to go linear. And we're back to position one. That's what we want to do. We're going to go to 500. We're going to go to 500. And we're going to hit enter. Okay, so we're back to just our program. Let's go on down to end. Okay, so this time when we run our program, we should be running it at 500 millimeters per second but it should all be linear. There shouldn't be any arches. And you can see over here in these 3D, there's some pretty significant arches. So let's see if we can run this. Uh, we'll get it out of step, step mode at this point. Uh, let's, let's move this over. Where, can, where do we move it that we see it the best? I guess move it here and then we'll go back. So you see this big arch, let's see if that changes any in linear. So we're going to hit shift. Oh, guys, you need to learn to, to get rid of a program that's running. So let's, let's just do that right now. I want you to come over here to function and click function. And it's a, abort all. If there's a program running, we're going, we want to abort that program. Now, it doesn't delete any programs. All it does is abort the program if we didn't finish it. Last time, I don't know if we ended on end or not. And so what I've just done is say, okay, computer or robot, I want you to run the one I'm asking you to run and stop running the one in the background. So you've now, you've aborted it. We're going to hit enter. And that doesn't change anything. All that does is tell the computer to stop running the program that's in the background. All right. So we're going to go to step. We're going to go to shift. We're going to go to forward. Okay, let's see what happens. Do you see that was a direct line? There's no arch to it. It was a direct line. Now it's going to be a direct line back as well. Now it's moving fairly fast at 500. Do you see that it doesn't arch? And so, 
It's not an arching program. So we went, let's, let's take a look over here now. So let's do the same program. Um, we're going to cursor down to end. We're going to shut off the step. We're going to cursor back to the top. Oh, we're in shift. That's why it's acting silly. Okay, so we're back in shift. We're out of shift now. Okay, we need to turn our step back on. We need to hit our shift. We need to hit our forward key. And here I have that, that uh, information. I didn't abort the program behind it. So it's running a different program right now and it's at a different line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter and that corrects that, okay? So if you get that, just hit enter and let's move on. So let's go forward, forward. Now watch over here. Okay, so we're out at the corner, direct line up, direct line down, direct line back to the beginning. So we have eliminated that arch and that's called a linear motion. So you developed a program. I want you to take the program that you developed and change the motion from joint to linear. And I would like for you to video that, that you've changed it, show me the program with the joint on it, and then show me the program, take a screenshot of it a couple of times, show me the linear of it, and then uh, let's do a video of it actually moving so I can see that you've changed it and that we can run a program, okay? Keep in mind that if you have a, a problem that says there's a program already running, just go to function, go to abort all and enter and we remove that program that's running in the background, okay? All right, I think that's about all the damage we can do for today. So you know what your assignment is. So let's get those submitted either on Headrush or emailed to me. I think you're almost going to have submitted on, uh, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to email that large of a video to me, but you might. So we'll wait and see. All right. I guess that's it for the day. We'll wrap her up. And until next time, best of luck. And let's see if we can get that stuff turned in.